Hey, Julie here from RV Tips and Bits. Um, so yeah, we have the Tab 320S 2021. has a boondock package which um, has a spare tire of just the regular size tire versus the off-road tire. And we really had a concern if we broke down and had to replace the tire, um, we would have two uneven tires um, on both sides. And from what I understand, you'd have to have the other one replaced as soon as possible. Um, after checking several tire stores, um, they are not readily available for this exact size tire. It actually has to be ordered online. So we decided to go ahead and add the spare tire um, that would be the off-road tire. And um, after uh, communicating with some very helpful people on the New Camp Facebook uh, group, um, I found out what the different uh, product lines were and things that we could order to do this. I did opt to go a little bit of a different route to save some money. Um, you can go the Yakima route the entire way, uh, but it would pretty much cost you about a thousand dollars when all said and done. So I'm going to cover what I did and hopefully share my experience. So uh, the Yakima uh, basket that you can buy to add on to uh, the tab racks here with the Yakima racks is uh, pretty expensive. It's about 400 and something dollars. Um, I, after doing some rec research on the racks themselves, I've opted to go with the Max Hall, which was much less expensive and at only a price range of a little over a hundred dollars. It was quite easy to put together. It comes um, in a box and three pieces and you just align the poles um, and insert. Um, it also comes with all the uh, brackets to attach to the Yakima rack. Um, I researched to make sure that they were appropriate for the round um, bars and it was. So pretty easy to do, uh, self-explanatory. Um, you can buy locks uh, as some people have done for those brackets instead of just the um, non-locking ones, uh, but we just opted to go ahead and put the basket on with the ones that came with it. Um, we also ordered, uh, which is cost as much as the basket, was the tire bracket to uh, att uh, attach the tire to the basket itself. And again, that was pretty easy, um, pretty heavy duty, a lot of good reviews on it. Um, it cost about $119, and I searched to see if there were alternatives, but uh, that's about the one you got to get, and pretty well worth it because, um, like I said, you don't want to mess around with losing the tire or something that's weak or not thorough. So the bracket does have an area where you can put a padlock and it locks the bracket to uh, the tire as well. Um, I use these earplugs, believe it or not, these wax earplugs um, to actually secure the opening areas of different things that I might be using that I don't want to rust and they work really well. So I just got a padlock, put the earplugs on and um, secured it to uh, the bracket and it works great. Next up is the actual tire. Boy, was that a challenge to find. Um, I did initially go through a dealer and I was going to get it through them. Um, and then something came up, I had to cancel the order. Um, and while I was waiting, I did some more research and found it a lot less expensive at um, a place called trailersetgo.com. Um, it was the exact same tire. Um, the dealership through New Camp needed $399 for the tire uh, to be delivered. Um, and at Trailer Set Go, it was $270. So a lot less expensive. Um, I appreciate the dealer willing to order it. Um, but I was you know, definitely able to keep my cost down by ordering it direct myself. Yeah, so just in review, all you need is your tab trailer. Um, again, the brand I used was Max Hall on the basket, a little over $100 for the basket itself. And again, I'll have all the links down below that you just click on the links and it'll bring you right to the products we used. This is the actual Yakima uh, tire bracket. That's about $119 right now. Um, the tire itself was uh, $270 and this was the actual tire that came in through the mail in a box. Uh, these earplugs you can pick up online. I'll have a link, but you can get them at Walmart for $4. 
Um, yeah, and here it is. Here's the uh, finished uh, product. I just had to have one other person help me put the tire up there, but I pretty much put the bracket and everything on there by myself without any problems. Um, again, there's the connection, and it's very sturdy, um, solid. I, I tried to jiggle it, move it, make sure, you know, everything wasn't going to be a problem. As we all know, when you're traveling down the road, um, things move very easily. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, again, I want to thank the, the helpers I had on uh, the Facebook group to help research and different products and I uh, just wanted to pass it on. I have several other videos on the tab and many upgrades that we have done, so be sure to check them out. Um, and happy camping out there.